Hey guys, Houndooms here, coming at you once again with another episode of Pokemon Black 2. On the last episode, we went through Route 5, uncovered some plot, and took down Charles, the Heartbreaker. We also trudged across the uh, Drifel Drawbridge, as I'm still on right now. On this episode, we're going to be exploring Drifel City. And it is winter right now, so it's going to be snowing. Bridges connect different lands. Trading and battling with Pokemon can connect different people. I guess that means Pokemon are kind of a bridge as well. So how about the city's pride and joy, the drawbridge? We call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form. How is Charizard elegant? Ugh. Ugh, hello. Come on, let's have fun stealing Pokemon together like we did before. I can't. I've learned the hard way that stealing from others is wrong. Oh, come on. It's too late to start acting all goody two-shoes now. Whoa! People don't understand our just cause. Don't they call you a villain who was plotting world dom domination? Even though you quit Team Plasma, people are still really cold to you, right? So you might as well just come steal Pokemon with us and take over the world. The Pokemon who are mean to you now will be groveling at your feet and saying how great you are. I think I might have said, I think I might have said Pokemon when I said people, I'm not sure. I can't. My Lord N will be sad. I can't do that to him. N? Team Plasma's king? What a joke. He's nothing more than a traitor. He disappeared someone and abandoned us when we needed him. Hey! Oh, here comes trouble. Whoop. Start talking, you Team Plasma trash! Ow! You're gonna pay for that! Oh yeah, almost forgot. I'm not supposed to cause any trouble. I'll get you next time! You're not getting away! <laughs> Vendetta? I'm okay. We were friends when we were both in Team Plasma, but two years ago Team Plasma slipped, split into a group that follows Lord, Lord N, who just wants to save Pokémon, and a group that follows Getsis, who plans to take over the world. You can hear the rest of the story in our home. It's on that little hill next to the Pokemon Gym. Uh, you must go there to proceed through the game, uh, but it's nothing too taxing, and you can get a very, very nice Pokemon if you do that. Uh, here is the entrance to the Pokemon World Tournament, however you can't go there yet, so I'm not going to bother going in. Hello, hello. Even though I used to look at the cold storage every day, I've already forgotten what it looked like. So yeah, Drifel City has been totally revamped, uh, looks much more posh now, uh, and there's no more cold storage. It's not here anymore. Uh, the Pokemon World Tournament's there instead. Hello. Different kind of Pokemon can learn different kind of moves. That is true. This uh, woman's quite useful. Are you a trainer? Oh, you have a Pokedex. It's so marvellous. I wonder if you'd please do me a favour. I would like to see a Pokemon that learned a move called Payback. To be clear, that's Payback. Please show me it today. Oh my my my! Your Conkelda can use Payback. Did you go all the trouble of teaching it to your Pokemon? Marvellous! This is a small token of my appreciation. Please don't hesitate to accept this. So she gives you a heart scale. Now, uh, she will ask to see one of your Pokemon who knows a TM that you have. Uh, not a Pokemon that, uh, not a TM that your Pokemon has learned, but just a TM that you have. So just grab a Pokemon, show it to her, and she'll give you a heart scale every day. So it's a very nice way to get heart scales, especially have a, if you have a Pokemon like um, or Sawsbuck later on, or Samurott, or Embor, or um, can't think of another one. But basically, they learn moves uh, at level one. They, you can't get... Oh, and Lucario, who learns Dark Pulse, which is very good. Uh, he, you can't actually learn them at level 1, technically. Um, they don't show up when you breed. So, uh, you, you need to relearn them using a heart scale. And usually, these are very, very good moves, so they're worth using. Three years ago, Team Plasma talked me into letting my dear Pokemon go. Ever since, I've been staying in hotels as I please. To be honest, I feel lonely. But it's a good thing not to have Pokemon who'll be left up behind and feel sad after I pass away. What a very, very nice, happy outlook on life you have there, sir! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. An unexpected guest! This is a gift for such a person. An Everstone. Mm, great. So that prevents you from your evolving your Pokémon. Not like in your bag, you can never evolve your Pokémon again. Uh, if you equip it, it won't evolve. Um. But yeah. Hey, Stungfisk, Pampor, my dear precious Pokemon, kick back and relax today. Stun! Stupid Stunfisk, just sitting there like a pancake. Pepper, pepper. Yeah, Pampor's just so much better. You can't even catch Stunfisk at this point. I'm actually thinking of a point where you can catch Stunfisk in this game. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think you can catch it ever until the after game, so that's kind of nice to be honest because Stumpfisk sucks. Uh, but yeah, here's the market, pretty much unchanged. Um, if you're well, if you're referring to the after game, because this guy who sells incense is there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm all sold out. That Charles guy bought everything I have. This is amazing. You can buy Moo Moo milk here, and uh, you can buy them by the dozen. So. They're pretty much the best healing item you can get. Uh, not like HP wise, but cost effectiveness. Uh, they only cost 500 for 100 HP of healing, which is very good. You, glad you came, you want something good? Then show me a Pokemon level 30 or more. Oh, you not so good yet. After training Pokemon, come back here again. Uh, he will give you an expert belt once you've showed him a Pokemon that's level 30. Uh, now these items aren't particularly great, apart from the Revival Herb. These act as a Max Revive, um, but they should only be used on a Pokémon that doesn't have the move Return, because obviously it will lower its happiness, and obviously if you've got a Pokémon that still needs to evolve, that evolves through happiness. Not very um, advisable, but it's useful for any other Pokémon other than the ones I just said. Uh, oh, hello. Look who it is. Hmm, kind of a bit weak right now, but we'll go for it. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like, so I learned a new style of trip po Pokemon battling. I keep getting ahead of myself. It's named Triple Battle. Want to learn about it? In Triple Battles, you send out three Pokemon at a time and battle. The rules are simple. Just make all of your Pokemon opponent's Pokemon faint. And that's a rough explanation of uh, Triple Battles. Stupid me. <laughs> I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. Hey, if you're a trainer, how about a triple battle? You've got a good attitude, don't you? I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. I'm always at full throttle. So yeah, he pretty much gives you the same speech as he did uh, beforehand, but he will battle you in the opposite uh, battle style now. Still has the same Pokemon. But yeah. Oh, this is so awesome. I can use Rock Slide and hit everything. Uh, I could use Air Cutter, but I think I'm just going to side beam that Arkham, but it should die actually. Rock Slide, Rock Slide, Rock Slide, and Faint Attack the... Oh no, it's going to use Wide Guard. I'm g I, yeah, that's stupid. I know it's going to use Wide Guard. That Tortuga is going to use Wide Guard. Uh, let's Bug Bite the Sigilyph, and so let's Faint Attack the Tortuga. Yep, yeah, I saw that coming. Got to be careful of that. Luckily I didn't actually go for it. Wow, that didn't do anything. Jesus. Wow, really? Light screen, okay. Okay. Not bad. Ancient power, who's that hitting? Hmm. Oh, that was close. Uh, wow, I can't believe that Arkin is actually the slowest Pokemon there. Um, let's go for... No, let's go for Psy Beam. Uh, no, let's go for Air Cutter. Um, I can see that Psy Beam coming. I think I'm just going to go for the Rock Slide. I don't think it's going to use Wide Guard again. It might do, but I doubt it. Uh, Flame Burst is four times just did. Let's just go for Faint Attack again. Aqua Jet. Yeah, I saw that coming, really. Whatever. Ugh, that tattoo is annoying. Really, Arkin had to avoid it? Are you serious? Oh, stupid air cutter. Oh my god! Uh, well, Conquer, obviously. Alright, well, let's go for Psybeam on that Arkem. Let's go for... Well... Uh, wake Up Slap on the Tur... No, that was Arkem. That was Sigilyph. Wake Up Slap on the Tortuga and Faint Attack on the Sigilyph. Yeah. Aqua Jet. Oh, please don't take me out. <sighs> Flame Body. Okay, well, that's an upside. wanted to take that freaking Sigilyph out. Massive threat to my Conker. Yeah, 
Cutter. That's much better than Psybeam. Because uh, um, Psybeam has concentrated damage because obviously it only attacks one. Level 26. Good, good, good. Uh, I'll have to just send out this Ducklet, I guess. Maybe it'll decide to attack Ducklet instead. Alright, well, let's just go for whoops, Air Cutter. And then Payback. And then, what do you have? Bubble Beam, let's go for that. This won't do that much, but it's fine. Mm. Taking that like a boss conquer, seriously. Alright, down the Sigilif goes. That could have been very bad. Oh, now we have a Pokemon level 30. Let's go find that um guy. I'm a heartbreaker. My name? Charles. Sheesh, that's embarrassing. Getting schooled when I was planning to teach. Still, you have potential. You have to understand your Pokemon to win a travel battle. If you want more travel battles, go to the Pokemon World Tournament. Maybe I will. Okay, so back here you can find the TM63 for Embargo. Not a particularly great move, but it's there regardless. Oh, and if you think that's kind of funny, me being almost swept by a Sigilith, in my previous run-through when I accidentally, stupidly left my mic unplugged, um, I actually got swept by a freaking Swoobat, and I am not kidding. A Swoobat! It used Calm Mind and Amnesia, and I couldn't take it out, and then it just swept me, because it's so fast! It's just amazing how fast that thing is. <laughs> I'm the Master Move Tutor, and I'm also obsessed with Red Shards. Give me Red Shards and I'll thank you by teaching your Pokemon a move. Wants to teach your Pokemon a move? Yes. Well, that's just fine. Pick me the move Pick the move you want me to teach. This guy. This guy is the guy. You need to come to this guy at some point, because every Pokemon is bound to want some sort of Move Tutor move. Uh, with the exception of my Crustle, actually. <laughs> um, but um, he... Well, it's not a Crustle yet. He will teach the moves Covet, not particularly great, but it's there regardless. Bug Bite, that's very good for Heracross, who doesn't actually get a bug type move until much later. So it's good for a stab move straight away. Drill Run, that's okay. Bounce, not that great. Signal Beam is actually. You've, uh, no, you, not, none of my Pokemon have Signal Beam right now, but it is a bug type move, specially based, 75 power, but it's very good. It can be taught to a ton of Pokemon. Ones that you wouldn't even expect, like um, Espeon, uh, who's very good with the Signal Beam actually, manages to take on Dark types with that, as well as Pokemon like um, Magnet Zone or Magneton, whatever you have at this point, uh, to deal with, well, to give it some extra coverage really. Iron Head, that's good for Excadrill later on, Super Fangs, okay, Uproar, okay, Seed Bomb, not really good distribution, but it's there regardless. Dual Chop, that's an 80 in, like, quotation marks. Bra uh, 80 power move, technically. Hits two times, so it's 40 power each hit. Low kick, that's good for a Pokemon like Electivire. Gunk shot, 120 power poison type move, but only 70% accurate, which kind of sucks. And then the three big ones, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Ice Punch. You generally tend to want a Pokemon uh, with Ice Punch, um, but any of these moves are fantastic. Funkelda is the one getting Ice Punch though, getting rid of Rock Throw since it pretty much offers redundant coverage. Well, apart from the fact it covers Fire types, but it's not exactly like I'm struggling with Fire types. Um, I will also teach my Mag B slash Magma, or probably Magma Sing, um, Thunder Punch, but I do need some more shards. But you can get them in just a second, almost literally. Uh, you can find a Calcium hidden, well, not, well, it's kind of hidden, right there. On the other side of the ocean, and all over the world, there sure are a lot of different Pokemon. Whoa, dude! If a Pokemon uses the smooth surf, it can catch a wave. Dude! <laughs> so that guy's there. A terrific trainer, let me share a training tip with you. During a battle with a trainer, even if your Pokemon's items are taken away, don't worry. They will be returned to you safely after the battle. But disposable items seem to disappear. I'm going to watch the Pokemon World Tournament! Huh? The Pokemon World Tournament is in the southernmost part of the town. That is true. Drifel's gone and changed so much, I thought I'd been Hornswoggled. What an interesting word. My guilty pleasure is the newest films from PokerStar Studios. Mine certainly freaking isn't. 
hate that place. <laughs> I hate how you're forced to go there. I feel like if you weren't forced to go there, it'd be so much nicer, but... I don't know. Anyway, hello. Oh, by any chance, was your mother working in a Pokemon Center as a receptionist? You look very similar to her. Maybe she was. Gox! Gox! Okay. The Pokemon next door. I feel like it's intimidating me. Well, Scraggy can have Intimidate as a hidden ability. When ti when I th why did I say why did I think that said timings? <laughs> when things change, I prefer the way it was, and when things don't change, I get bored. I have a twisted mind. Hmm, I hope it's not twisted in other ways. Anyway, head up to the twenty-fifth floor. Uh, is this the one you want to come to? Yeah, it is. Uh, speak to this guy, and he will give you a. Oh no, it's not this guy. But he gives you a big root. Useful for a Pokemon like um, a Whimsicott or Lilligant, who probably have Giga Drain at this point. However, the Miracle Seed is probably better, because you end up doing more damage. The healing really is just a like a nice side effect. But anyway, I feel like I'm missing a building. Oh, I am missing a building. It's right down here. Here we are, right here. Hello. Battling Pokemon stronger than you gives you more XP points. That is true. Ha ho, you have a Pokedex. How many Pokemon have you found? Hoo ha, you found 70 or more. Now we're talking. This is for you. So he gives you a Shell Bell. Very useful item. Kind of like leftovers, but a little different. Works by how much damage you do. Did you know this? It's an article from Pokemon Pal. Press the L button while selecting a move during battle to d display detailed information about that move. I didn't know that. That's kind of fun. It's also kind of interesting to note that if you press, I think it's start, um, in a double battle, and, and maybe triple, um, instead of seeing the HP bar, you can actually see, um, you can actually see the, how, literally, exactly how many hit points you have, which is kind of nice. Uh, so these three are basically talking about trading through wireless. I feel like I'm still missing a building. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, I know, yeah, I am. I don't know how, though. Hello, Axie. Oh, the Pokemon has something in his mouth. Ha ha, I have your berry. Roar! Ha ha, took your berry. I will yoink it, and I will be on my way. So, where the hell is that last building? Because there is definitely another one, because you can find a very nice item that is good for the next gym. Is it next to the move shooter house? I think it is. Let me go there. Is it? Is it? Is it? No, it's not. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. I already visited that house. It's not that one. Where the hell is it? There is definitely a house here who gives you... Did I already get it? Did I already get it? No, I didn't. Okay, so where did I? I miss a. I must have missed a floor or something. Possibly in this house. Oh no, I know where it was. I didn't go upstairs in that move tutor house. That's right. I'm pretty sure that's it. Because um, yeah, there's a higher floor in. I think it's probably this building. Who um, he gives you an air balloon, which allows you to dodge ground type moves until you're hit. Unfortunately, it is a disposable item, which is kind of frustrating. Um, so it's only one use, but it's nice regardless. Yep, there's the air balloon. That's what you want. Yep, he tells you exactly what I just said. Balloon, balloon, balloon. Cross transceiver mini games. My elegant hobby is mini games on the cross transceiver. How elegant! <laughs> uh, let's go to the eleventh floor, and then we've got to go to the Xteen Plasma House, and then we're done for this episode. Ugh, you have a Watchog slash Patch Rat. I can't tell what it is. Oh, it's just a Patch Rat. How boring. You might be able to learn something if you check out battles between people who are stronger than you. Is that is true. Some Pokemon evolve by trade. Cool, right? Why do they evolve? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Ask Professor Juniper. Go find her. Wherever she might be. Whoops. Sorry. I had to quickly just move. Because <laughs> I was in a comfortable position and I accidentally moved that up. Sorry, I hate when I do that. Um, 
So, let's head to the X-Team Plasma House. Um, just before that though, this guy is blocking the entrance to Clay Tunnel, which is just there, but you cannot go there until after you've beaten the game. Um, however, there is a Yancy Call right here. So please come here if you wish to get that Yancy Call. Hi, is this Sean? Really? So you like dark type Pokemon, Sean? Many of them are cute, aren't they? Uh, no. <laughs> Oops, my my colleague is calling me. I always almost say college, I don't know why. I have to get back to work. Talk to you again. Goodbye. Bye bye, Yancey. Alright, so you've got a battle coming up, so do be careful. Oh, I need, really need to heal. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you do have a battle coming up, so do be careful. I don't think he uses anything particularly special, but um, yeah, just be wary. Be wary. It's. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wow, I swore and I battered the mic. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah. Nothing too special going on with this next fight, but it's kind of an interesting fight, I guess you could say. Alright. Uh, do I want to be leading with Sigilyph, though? Uh, yeah, why not? So, oh, did I get that expert belt? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Let's give it to someone. Um. Conker has very good super effective coverage, he deserves it. Um, yeah, well, I think we're fine. Alright. Here we are. Sir, that's the person I was talking about. Over here, this way. Oh, so you're interested in Team Plasma, are you? If you hear what we have to say, you might be able to understand us. My guest. If you're going to come inside, I would like to see what kind of person you are, trainer. That's right, in a Pokemon battle. Do you find this acceptable? Let us begin! So we're going to battle one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Well, he was in Team Plasma. <laughs> Not anymore though. Oh Jesus, I think this thing probably has Crunch. Could care less about Intimidate though. Alright, well, let's just go for Psybeam. Easily, easily outspeed that thing. Wow, that didn't do anything! Jesus! Uh, well, okay, you took that fairly well. To be quite honest, I thought that would do much more. Oh, okay, two hit KO. That's fine. Must have been min, ma must have been min damage. You Swoobat! Okay, um... Don't really want to risk it. Let's go into Ignite. To do? Here we go. Swoobat. Swoobat's actually one of my favourite Pokemon. I really like it. It's just... Wow, I can't believe a freaking Swoobat swept me. Just annoying. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's some payback. Even though that wasn't the guy that swept me, but... Yeah. Ho! You fight as if you really understand your Pokemon. Ho. I apologise for testing you. Being former me members of Team Plasma, we must deal with a lot. He got away! And that is your friend. He may join us. Okay. Oh, look, Azorua. Cool. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Rude. You guys are all Team Plasma too, right? Tell me, what makes you different from the Team Plasma back there? More accurately, we're former members of Team Plasma. Because of the incident two years ago, we started taking care of the Pokémon that were separated from their trainers as a way to atone for our misdeeds. And you are? I'm Hugh, from Aspersia City. Five years ago, Team Plasma, I mean you, stole my little sister's Pokemon. I'm the pathetic trainer who wasn't able to stop you. Separated? What a joke! You were the trainers who stole them! Is that so? My sincerest apologies. Just an apology? That's it? Where's my sister's Pokemon? Perline! Where's Perline? Just gonna spat into the mic there, sorry. The Pokemon you speak of is not in this place. I imagine it is still being used by Team Plasma now. Just as you say, our, po our apologising doesn't solve anything. But you can't move forward unless you admit you were wrong and apologise. Enough already! Apologising isn't going to get my sister's Pokemon back! Sean, I'm going to the Pokemon Gym. I'll get stronger and crush every single member of Team Plasma. Team Plasma made trainers like him suffer. I feel terrible about it. How foolish we were. Sean, as you can see, I can't do anything to thank you. Actually, I have a favour to ask of you. Could you please look after this Pokemon, Zyra? Yes! 
Oh, thank you. But what's this? It seems you can't take any more Pokemon with you. Yeah, so I don't have uh, a free spot. But that Zorua, wow, that Zorua, it is so good. It has a hasty nature as well, which is a pretty good nature. It's not incredible, but it's pretty good. It allows it to go mixed if you so desire. But uh, yeah, that thing is whew, good. Um, so, I'm going to speak to you on the next episode, but uh, I'm going to end this episode with another Pokemon review, uh, like I did last episode. So, on the next episode, we will be taking on the Driftvale Gym and its leader. Um, so yeah, I will end this episode off with the Pokemon review of Zoroa. But until then, I'll s well, until next time, <laughs> I'll see you then, guys. The new Pokemon you can obtain in Driftvale City is Zorua. Zorua is a dark type and can have the ability Illusion, which means it will take the appearance of the uh, sixth Pokemon in your party, or whichever your last one is. Uh, it's not entirely the same as transforming, it just takes the Illusion. Um, everything will still be the same. Uh, it can be found I as a gift in Driftvale City in Black 2 and White 2. And in Black and White 1, it can be found in Castalia City, but it requires the Event Celebi, which you can get through the uh, Pokemon Relocator. Um, and you'll have that Celebi, it's a pink Celebi, I think, uh, which you get from a Heart Gold and Soul Silver event, which was quite a few years ago now, so you might not be able to get it. Um, when looking at Zorua's stats, you can see that it's got a very similar build to Houndour, uh, having very high special attack with very good speed and physical attack. However, its defenses are relatively low. Uh, at level 30 it will evolve into Zor Zoroark, uh, which can be found in the Lost Lawn Forest, but requires the event uh, Raikou, Entei and Suicune, which are the shiny variants, which you also get as an event in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, in Black 2 and White 2 though, you're going to have to evolve Zorua. Um, when looking at Zoroark's stats, you can see that it's got three very high stats and three fairly low stats. Uh, its attacking stats are very, very high, having base 120 special attack, which is very high for a dark type, as well as also having pretty good physical attack as well, so it can go mixed very easily. It's also pretty zippy as well, being base 105 speed. However, it has very low defenses uh, for such a uh, fully evolved Pokemon, and uh, will struggle to take hits, even resisted ones. Um, Zoroark is a fantastic Pokemon and is everyone's favourite in uh, the game to be quite honest um, because it gets some fantastic coverage moves. Dark Fire, uh, as it can learn Flamethrower, is, um, has very good uh, coverage against most Pokemon and it can also learn moves um, such as, I think it learns Focus Blast and Grass Knot. Um, it can learn Night Days as its signature move later on. Um, although Dark Pulse is generally better for it, even though it's slightly weaker, just because it's got 100% accuracy. But if you're feeling daring, then you can always go with Night Days. Um, but overall, Zoroark is a fantastic Pokemon with very high stats, and even those defenses don't really cripple it too much, because it's likely to take something out before it gets hit itself. Um, so Zoroark is a fantastic Pokemon and will get 4 stars.